vegetarian picnic time. Excited? Me too. A lot of my friends don't eat meat while some of them are vegan. And some of them are neither. Personally, I don't eat meat and I rarely eat dairy. Why? Because that's how I feel the best. And I got here thanks to one of my favorite vegetarian initiatives, Meat Free Monday by Paul McCartney. The concept is really simple. One day a week we eat no meat or even better, no animal products. This way we reduce our carbon footprint, spare some animals while also decluttering our arteries. It's simple, it's easy and it's efficient. How efficient? We all know that eating more plant-based foods is good for our health, our environment and the animals. But what are the concrete numbers and consequences of eating plant-based foods one day a week? Indeed, a plant-based diet does have a positive impact, but this doesn't mean we have to completely forget about all of our favorite foods. In fact, eating plant-based diet just one day per week can have a positive impact and go a long way. Now enough chit chat, let's go to the concrete data. Environment first. Global warming is a real problem and the main human-induced source is carbon dioxide. Livestock alone causes between 14 and 18% of global greenhouse gas emissions. A vegan diet can cut these emissions by 70%. Every day you do not eat animal products, you will save 9 kilograms of carbon dioxide, which is the amount of energy an average household uses in 6 hours. In a year, this means almost two weeks of energy. That doesn't seem like much, but if every single person living in the USA alone would give up eating meat just one day per week, it would be like taking more than one million cars off the street. And we could plant forests instead. Because guess what? Deforestation is another problem. With every plant-based Monday, you personally save about three square meters of forest. In a year, all these Mondays translate to 145.6 square meters, which is approximately half of a basketball court. And just like any basketball player, animals too need a lot of water. Actually, they need hell more than any sportsman on earth. In fact, so much that skipping animal foods for one day saves more than 4,000 liters of water. That is the quantity of water an average person in developed countries uses in 27 days. In a year, that's about 217,000 liters of water, which is enough water to fill up a swimming pool or what an average human uses in one year and a half. And what else do all animals need? Food, of course. We economize 18 kilograms of grain every day we eat plant-based foods, which in a year of only eating plant-based one day per week means 936 kilograms of grains saved. That is the amount of grains an average human eats in 11 to 15 years. But in order to be able to eat all those grains, we have to stay healthy. While animal products do have some great nutrients, they shouldn't be the main focus of our diet, no matter how delicious they are. Because you know how it goes. The more delicious something is, the worse it is for our health. Eating a lot of animal products puts us at higher risk of developing cancer, diabetes, or heart disease. They are also full of cholesterol and saturated fats and often antibiotics and hormones. Plant-based diet consists of fruits, veggies, grains, and legumes. It means more minerals and vitamins, easier and faster digestion, and more energy since you don't feel the need to sleep right after the meal. And before you panic, remember, we are only talking about one day per week. Easy peasy, right? Last but not least, meat means an animal was killed, while milk, cheese and eggs often mean animal exploitation. By not eating any animal products just one day a week, you will save a life of one animal. In a year, this means 52 animals, which is not a bad score considering you're only giving up your pasta bolognese, scrambled eggs or cheese one day a week. What? It's not Monday, it's Thursday. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Now tell me in the comments what is never missing in your picnic basket. If you like this video, give us a like and also share it so more people can have access to this information. Subscribe to not miss our next video and see you then. Bye-bye.